Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you a cool new brush set that has just landed on my desk. It is a vegan pro set. So it's really big, it's got 17 brushes and they're all vegan so they're all synthetic but they are amazing quality. So let me introduce you to Ihana. Now Ihana is an Australian brand, came in this cool packaging, quite like the pattern, um, and they do a range of synthetic brushes as well as animal hair. I'm vegan so I'm always going to choose a synthetic option but the really cool thing is that they're great quality, they're pro quality um, and they sell sets as well as individual brushes. So today I'm showing you the Macaron Tutti Fruity set. It's really cool like it's a li lime mint green color and when you open it up you've got pink and purple, my favorite colors and a whole lot of brushes. So the brushes are kind of overwhelming. I don't think I know what a lot of these do. There is a list that comes with it um, tells you, you know how to use them all and on what. Uh, but also each brush has a cool little system where it uh, starts with either an F or an E or an L. So F is for face, E is for eyes, L is for lips. So it makes your system really easy if you aren't really good with brushes like I am, even though I love brushes, kind of pull it out and you go, okay, is that a face or an eye brush? You know what, kind of this size should tell you it's a face brush. This would not do well on the eyes, but anyway. So other than having a lot of brushes, the thing I love about this set is that it's got a cool little zipper pocket up the top, so you can store extra things. And the pockets are actually double layered so take a brush out one of the brushes can go in there but also here you have another pocket so you could actually put more brushes in uh, as you fill it up and I know for makeup artists they kind of carry a lot more than just 17 brushes so that would be really helpful for when you're traveling and I also just love that the way it secures is with this kind of belt strap it just wraps around and secures with a little stud. I think that's cool. It means I can like wrap a whole lot more into the middle if I need to. And yeah, it's a neat little parcel. But into the specific brushes. Now, I am not a pro, as I mentioned, so I don't know what all of them do just by looking at them, but I've looked up online uh, before I got the set just to see uh, what they each do, and I think most of them would come in use for me. So let's just start with the big one that I just pulled out before. This is the powder or blush brush that you could use. Then next we have got the face and cheek brush, the angled face and cheek brush. It's a bit stubby uh, and that's a big difference between this longer angled brush which is a large angled contour brush. Now more info about each individual, uh, each individual brush will be on the site link below but uh, just going to give you a quick moving shot of them all. This one I've never used before this is a fine fan brush it says. Um, I don't really know what you'd use that for I've probably got to look into that but it's cool nevertheless. Okay after the face brushes we have the blending brush for your eyes followed by a firm medium angled brush uh, so there's two angled brushes one is a firm bristle and one is a soft bristle but this still feels really soft so I'm not even sure why it's called a firm. Next we've got a fluff brush and then a large fluff brush. I don't even know what you do with a fluff brush but I like the name. Then we've got a final face brush in the concealer brush, very important. This is the soft angle brush that I mentioned before. And still feels soft. It is a little bit shorter and smaller than the larger firm one, so good to know. I'm sure you makeup artists know what to do with that. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. And then a pencil brush. And then we get into the small brushes with the brow brush and the angled. And then another small angle brush, which would be like your eyeliner. And then a precise liner, which is, you know, the straight, longer bristled eyeliner brush, which comes with a cap. Another 
face one in the fan brush. I have a lot of these. I don't even know what you do with them, but I just love how they feel. And then just the very important brow brush and lash comb. Okay, and lucky last is the retractable lip brush. Uh, so it's um kind of annoying because in the case, it gets stuck in its little pouch. So you kind of have to push it up. This is one downside, I guess. So I've got to weasel it out. Because it's kind of got a two-parter, like that, so either way you put it in, it gets stuck. You know, you can put it in this way, like that, and then when you pull it out, you know, the, the lid gets stuck in it. Sorry, the lid gets stuck in it. Or you can put it in that way, and then when you only pull the lid out, the bottom gets stuck in it. But anyway, um, so to get the lip brush part up, you kind of turn it around and stick the bottom into the lid, and the little lip brush comes up. So, yeah, it's a lip brush. But yeah, back out and down. Now, you probably have noticed that the one thing it is missing is a foundation brush. That is a good observation. You are very wise. Now, I don't know why it doesn't have a foundation brush, but the thing I can think of is that Ihana really pride themselves on their kabuki brushes. So I have one here, and at the time I got this set, there was an offer to get one free, so that offer still may be on. I will check um, and put the details below. But yeah, so I think that they believe that the kabuki brush is the best way to do your foundation, and that's probably why they don't include one in the actual pro set. And the other reason I think maybe because pros all kind of have their own way of using um, brushes or tools to apply foundation. I know some like sponges, some like to use their hands, some like to use brushes, but you know, varying kinds. So don't really know why, but I think that's interesting. And I also think it's interesting that it doesn't specifically have a spot for a kabuki brush to be held, but it does have that additional pocket. So you can always put it in there. Uh, so that's my review of the Ihana Tutti Frutti Vegan Pro Set. Um, 17 pieces, I think it's pretty amazing. And I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Not so much maybe the brushes I don't know how to use, but I'm going to look into them. Thanks.